Hello, hello again. It's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arneal and I am back. We are back in the Encino Park area today, um, walking distance to the elementary school, to the middle school. Fantastic location. It's a cul-de-sac street, um, three beds, two and a half baths, just under 2,100 square feet, just over $330,000. And an adorable front porch. I'm just like hanging out on their front porch. This one does, it's a two story with all the bedrooms upstairs. See, look at that little porch. Um, so there are a lot of stairs. There's, it's on a hill, so it stairs up to the front of the house and in the garage up to the house. Uh, so if you need a one story, not the right choice. But if you like a two story home, here's my phone number. Call me, text me. Let's come see this one. If you think I'm just a delight to hang out with, which I am, just ask me. Uh, then call me, text me, let me know, blow up my phone. Let's have some fun and find your next dream home. Um, also, I will, like always, put all my info up again at the end. All right, fine. As long as you promise to like, share, and subscribe, we'll go get started. Let's go. All right, as we go in this nice dark burgundy door, this one is listed by Open Door, so it's been empty for a little bit, but that's okay. Right. If you have questions about Open Door, let me know too. I have Open Door. <laughs> All right, as we come in the front door, you've got a cool little like architectural entry right there. Right away is the dining area. It's all solid floors down here. Tile in the entry and the kitchen and laundry wood look planks in the living and dining so we'll go past a little hall closet here here's our living room we'll come over there in a second again breakfast area laundry and pantry are in the same space again which if you've watched many of my videos you know i have mixed emotions about that but they did put a lot of storage in here, so I can't argue with that too much. They shut me down just a little bit for today. And then here's the kitchen. Solid surface countertops, a beautiful stainless glass cooktop range, stainless um, appliances throughout, white cabinets with the silver hardware is nice. Not a huge space, but lots of counter space for what it is. You could do a lot in here. And then let's move over to, let's go to the backyard next while we're right here, actually. I'm feeling wild and crazy today, y'all. All right, so out as you step onto the back patio, there's a pretty decent sized concrete slab with a roof covering. Good sized backyard. There is sprinklers. There are sprinklers, I should say, if I want to be grammatically correct today. Decent sized side yard. The birds are going crazy today. So right past that fence down, I don't know, five or six houses is the elementary school. And then the middle school is like maybe a half mile up the other way. Fabulous, easy location to do all the things. And then over on this side of the house, since we're in that cul-de-sac lot, we get lots and lots and lots of space in the yard. Get a big lot. A big air conditioner. Goodness. It's just one AC unit for the two stories. That's probably why they went with such a big unit. But I don't see a sticker with the age on it. Oh, 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 I just found it. Hold on. You can wait. It's from 2016. So definitely, definitely, as always, on the list of items for your inspector, have them check the AC. On the list of repair amendments, ask the seller to service and repair the AC. That way you start out with a healthy unit, um, especially here in the middle of summer. It's hot. AC is critical. All right, let's get back inside. Such a cute little layout from this angle, I love it. All right, so we've got the living room. It's a good space. Didn't turn this light on. Hmm. No, 
not a super bright light, but the windows are awesome in this room. And then you have your half bath right next door. And then check out this garage with me. So there's several steps down, again, because we're on that hill. But you could mount some up high storage and get so much out of this. Look at this massive water heater they have. It's ridiculous is what it is. And they do have a water softener on here. And then like turn around and just appreciate that. <laughs> Two cars. The depth isn't huge because of those steps. It's really kind of squatty up there, but you can stack, like hang the storage from the ceiling and get a lot of storage in this house, a garage in this house. I guess you can get a lot of storage in a whole house. You can also get a lot of storage in that garage that I was trying to talk about. I've lost my mind, y'all. Okay, let's go upstairs now. We've got the wood look planks on the stairs. Oh, this banister. <gasps> y'all, it just like pulled out of the wall. Okay, sorry if I just made you dizzy doing that. It freaked me out. So I'm not sure, honestly, what's going on with this little landing thing. I haven't figured it out. It's about two, two and a half feet tall. You could display like a Christmas tree in the window, I guess. I don't know. Can't figure that out just yet. Let's see. I don't know. But the, you have this loft area. And then down this hallway, you pass your AC closet. Oop, fresh filter installed in May. <laughs> bedroom number one. The bedrooms are a good size here, too. And the closets. Come check this out. Carpets don't have a lot of pad under them anymore. There you go. It's a big closet. So I might negotiate flooring into the price so you could just replace or fix the carpets, change the carpets out to something else. Bedroom number two is smaller than the first one, but it has a view of that street out there. You can kind of see. It's pretty, pretty views. And then it's got a bigger closet though. So what it makes up for in floor space in the room, I think you gain in the closet. You could put the dresser, you could put all kinds of stuff in the closet and still have plenty of floor space in the bedroom. Oh, there's our attic access. Always like to find that. I see plenty of smoke detectors, all the good safety features around. And then here's our bath, first full bathroom. It's a single vanity, tub shower combo. Not a lot in the way of space on the counter, but there is a linen closet here. So my mom brain goes to maybe having a basket for each kiddo, just in the closet so they can pull out what they need when they're getting ready. And clearly this has not been upgraded. It's got different flooring than the rest of the house. So in your allowance that you ask for flooring, maybe redo that bathroom too. Just a thought. That's what Stephanie would do. You do, you guys. Okay, but right back over by the stairs is our primary suite. So let's go check this one out. Big windows, it looks out the front of the house. Look at that view. It's gorgeous here. It's morning, first thing in the morning, so you're getting morning sun tall ceilings in here, a huge space to fit all the things. And then we've got the bathroom and this bathroom does have a double vanity, but still not a ton of space. Great big mirror, separate tub and shower. And then, oh, I didn't turn this light on in the closet. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's look at this closet. Look at this massiveness. Like, wow. This is the best part of the house. There's this primary closet right there. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, what do we think of this one? It's a different layout than we've seen before. I'm still not sure what to make of that 
like platform thing. I think it might just be there for display in the window. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do with it as you please. If you have any other ideas for what it might be, please let, comment below, text me. I'm very curious what other ideas people have. Uh, again, three bed, two and a half bath, right about 2,100 square feet. It's like 2,088 or something. Uh, just a hair over $330,000 in the highly sought after Encino Park area of North San Antonio. Walking distance to the schools. I mean, you can't beat this, y'all. So don't sleep on this one. Call me, text me. I'll put this one up like the, tomorrow, right after I record it so you guys can see this one because I love it. Uh, let me know what you think though. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna go keep working. Uh, can't wait to see you. Thank you as always for stopping by and I'll see you guys on the next one.